Okay, we're going to keep the show rolling. And this next comedian you may have seen on True TV, let's give it up for the amazing Kenny Warren. Yeah. Give it up for Felicia Madison one more time, y'all. Ah, so like she told you guys, my name is Kenny Warren, a.k.a. The Average Black Man. Yeah, and I'm from Portland, Oregon. Yes, and I know I'm the only black dude y'all ever met from Portland, Oregon. I know this, because when I tell people that, they ask me the same fucking question. Is black people in Portland? And I always give them the same answer. Hell no, I left. Yeah. Portland is one of those places that's 2% black. Kind of like this room, so I feel right at home right now. This is, this is like family right here. This is... You guys are officially Oregonians. <laughs> Shit is crazy. Now, comedians, we do shows all over the city. We do shows at hookah bars where we're in the rubbing and hookah smoking. Hell, I did a show at a rehab center last week. <laughs> I was trying to get back. But usually I wear real t-shirts on stage, and I thought that would have been kind of messed up for me to come in there with a Heineken, a Guinness, or a Corona t-shirt. So I put a soda pop t-shirt on. But then I got on stage and realized my shirt said, enjoy Coke. <laughs> I was still sending a messed up message. Uh, I don't know. Where the millennials at in here? Where you millennials? Where the millennials? Y'all ain't shit. Uh, you can't eat nothing. No MSG, no GMOs, no lactose. And I'm a milk connoisseur, y'all. I love all the milks. 2% milk, fat-free milk, whole milk. And it's one milk they should be selling in stores that is easy to market. And that's breast milk. Think about it. They can put it in titty nipple shaped bottles. All the dudes is going to be in that part of the store trying to decide if they want a gallon or a pint, you know? Then you can name the milk after women with good breasts, like Dolly Parton, whole titty milk. Cameron Diaz, 2% titty milk. You know she got the little one. Uh, and this is the unicorn right here. Serena Williams, fat-free chocolate milk. And then all you millennials, all you millennials, y'all can just drink almond milk. But just know that almond milk ain't nothing but milk from crazy bitches' titties. Y'all know almonds is nuts. Y'all know almonds is nuts. True shit. So I work at a barbershop up in Spanish Harlem, and I'm always telling the other, uh, other barbers how important it is that they get some white friends, me being from Oregon and all. You know? I'm like, because you get to do stuff with your, with your white friends that you can't do with your black friends. For example, Raheem. Raheem can't take you white water rapping. <laughs> you know that nigga can't swim. <laughs> and Malik, Malik can't take you bungee jumping. Cause he afraid of heights and he down to earth. <laughs> and that's why I consider my white friends to be like coupons. And when I get all my white friends together, that's a Groupon. <laughs> Just something bad. Man. Any weed smokers in the building? Where y'all at? Any weed smokers? Oh, I'm kind of proud of this room because usually when I ask that question, below 86th Street, it gets real quiet in the room. And I know I'm in a cocaine environment. Sometimes when I'm smoking bud, that commercial comes on, this is your brain on drugs, and you see those eggs frying in the pan. I always take another hit of the weed. And think to myself, damn man, they could have put some home fries and turkey bacon with that shit. <laughs> and I'm a bachelor, uh, but I'm a thoughtful bachelor. I got the MTA subway map on my shower curtain. So, so she just gotta get her ass home in the morning. <laughs> I was thoughtful. I feel like I like old school music, right? And I was listening to R. Kelly the other day, and I had to turn it off because I was like, damn, man, R. Kelly peed on that little girl, man. And then wrote a song the next week, I Believe I Can Fly. And I was just glad that he couldn't fly because just think of how many people he could have pissed on. <laughs> I want all the ladies to give it up for yourselves for uh, being beautiful the way you woke up, naturally. Give it up for yourselves right now, give it up. Naturally, I'm talking about before the, the lipstick, before the eyelashes, before the eyebrows are done so much they start to look like cherry stems. 
Um, and sometimes ladies get the eyebrows done too well, the airbrush ones on Instagram. Fellas, be careful. That's a Ponzi scheme. You wake up in the morning and it'll look like somebody crumbled weed over their eyes, you know? And then women is, women is going to third world countries and getting body augmentations. And sometimes they're getting substances put in their ass and titties like asbestos and concrete. And they're getting sick from the operation. So I give women this warning. If you go to a third world country and they put semen in your butt implant, that's your ass fault. Uh -huh. All right, y'all. I'm Kenny Moore. Y'all been great.